Well, a veteran now of four camps, it's still not the record, but you're approaching it. Uh, what's, what's the approach been uh, here as you, you get a chance to, to do a lot of what you've seen before? Yeah, fourth one, uh, feels like yesterday I was just at my first one, but you know, guys that like Joshua, Picnic, and Engville have all been here, and we've been joking around all week saying we're, we're the veterans of the camp, but you know, I always look forward to going to these. You learn so much that uh, just taking it day by day and whatever they give you, you know, just taking it with you throughout the next season. And I like it because you come back and you learn something new every year, so it's good. How uh, have you progressed in three years at Maine and uh, obviously going to be counted on as one of the veterans as a senior coming up this year? You've got to be looking forward to that. Yeah, absolutely. I think I progressed pretty well. Uh, I had a pretty good season last year. Um, you know, the team didn't really have the season we expected to have, but, you know, we have a lot to look forward to. We have a good nucleus coming back and another good class coming in, so I think next year could could be the year for us. 13 goals last season for you, which was a career high at Maine. Do you see yourself expanding on that, or is there still a maintenance of balance at both ends of the ice as you move forward to that senior year? Yeah, 13 goals is pretty nice. Um, I'd love to have more. Uh, maybe hit 20, that'd be, you know, my ultimate goal. But uh, like you said, having a balance, playing defense and offense, I'd, I'd rather have a complete game than just be an offensive guy. So just like you said, working on the balance, um, best of both worlds would be scoring as many goals as possible, but also being really reliable in my in my own end. What happened to that guy that had a hat trick in his freshman season? Any chance of repeating that in his senior year? Yeah, I actually had one last year oh. against the same team, uh, kind of on the same night. It was senior night, right. uh, so it was pretty cool. Uh, we won, which is always good, and we beat Northeast, and love beating those guys. Your dad and your brother, how, how much of a help have they been over the last few years? Yeah, hugely. Um, and my brother made the jump to the NHL last year, and just seeing him, you know, in his rookie season and how well he did. Uh, there's a lot of ups and downs for him, obviously, but you know, just talking to him, he always gives me great advice. And obviously, my dad's been through the same ropes, so it's uh, I'm pretty blessed to have those two in my life when it comes to um, them giving me pointers and stuff like that. Big year in your senior years. Uh, you forced this Maple Leaf Hockey Club to, to make a decision on you as to where your future might be in a year from now. Yeah, I know it's a big year coming in. I'm basically playing for a contract, and I've been uh, pretty dedicated this summer, and I'm only I'm going to keep doing that the rest of the summer after I finish camp here and, you know, going to senior year, hopefully have a good year team-wise and personally. And, uh, you know, I think it could be both.